Well, we're all in the same boat. I mean, we're, we're all in the same bowl and, and we're all dealing with water and sewer issues and uh, trying to find a new way. And I was very interested today in the convergence in rural thinking and urban thinking, which used to be quite different. And now I think that those who, uh, who think outside the municipal boundaries and those who are dealing with an urban environment are beginning to think in the same scientific way. We were always wrestling with finances, and, and I think we're fairly advanced in Chattanooga. I say that without bragging, because we have done a lot of the hard stuff. We've taken the difficult steps of implementing a utility, and we're charging everyone across the whole geographic span of the city for the cost of the services, and we have uh, taken measures to try to make those costs equitable and affordable for everyone. But I was interested in some of the financial um, different ways of doing business that I heard here today that might enable us to move along faster and further than we might have expected. Expect resistance. I, I think far too many people go into this thinking, well, we're about improving the environment and everyone agrees that that's the good thing to do, and yeah. At a certain level, people do, but then when you start talking about the fact that, to put it in a, a local example, that you're going to take a stream out of a concrete channel that it's been in for the last 50 years and restore it to a natural state, and you start hearing people complain, well, won't that cause mosquitoes, won't, you know, people think of all sorts of scary things. You just have to work your way through the resistance and you have to be prepared to deal with the political fallout of the steps that have to be made. Documenting best practices, uh, the fact that you're going to different places, different communities, and you're hearing different things, and then you are uh, publishing that. One thing that all of us have in common as communities is that we, if we're successful, it's by just blatantly and shamelessly stealing ideas from each other and then implementing them, trying to improve on them. That's how you, you get from uh, the state we were all in a few decades ago to where we are now, which is far more progressive, and where we'll be in the future. We steal ideas and we improve upon them. Uh, your organization is a, a medium in making that happen more efficiently and more effectively.